Oh boy, I have to scratch my head upon hearing some criticism of the Finance Committee's Prescription Drug Reduction Act from supposedly fiscally conservative and pro-taxpayer organizations to mention a couple like Freedom Works and Americans for Tax Reform. The grassly widened bipartisan bill ought to have a lot of support. It would save taxpayers more than $100 billion. You'd think fiscally conservative organizations would want to back that. Of course, some of these fiscally conservative uh, organizations uh, receive substantial funding from Big Pharma. I can't think of a better opportunity to enact bipartisan entitlement reform that would significantly lower the debt and help rein in entitlement spending bill. And this bill happens to be uh, judged by the Congressional Budget Office, a nonpartisan group working for the Congress as a whole, uh, saying it would save a little over $100 billion. So I think reining in entitlement spending is a goal that I've campaigned on, and nearly one, every one of my Republican colleagues have campaigned on that same platform. So now is a chance to carry out those campaign promises. In other words, uh, stand on the platform you run on. In an era in an era of gridlock and partisanship, do supporters of less government spending and balanced budgets really think their goal can be achieved without bipartisanship? Because nothing gets done in the United States Senate that isn't somewhat bipartisan. The good news is that my legislation is bipartisan and support for the bill is growing every day.